Hello and welcome back my friends. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at these big blue IKEA Fracta bags as a means of growing more food at home on the cheap. Stay tuned, you're not going to want to miss this. So we've got a beautiful Japanese eggplant, nice and tall, growing out of this IKEA Fracta bag. Now we could have added some more plants around here, but this was really an experiment. We wanted to plant out our eggplant, just put the sack somewhere out in the sun and see how things progressed. Well, I'm pleased to announce that the plant itself is extremely healthy. We grew these plants from seed and all the different eggplants that we have growing came from that same seed pack. And this is the most aggressive, abundant eggplant out of all of the eggplants that we planted throughout our garden. Now, the great thing about these bags, they're super cheap, 99 cents a piece. If you pick them up at Ikea, you can get them online for about two bucks. And these bags are really great for a multitude of uses. Nice and large, 19 gallons can hold about 50 pounds. They're 21 and three quarter inches by 14 and a half by 13 and a quarter inches. So they're large. And the material that makes up these bags is 100% polypropylene. Polypropylene is considered to be one of the safest plastics and it's often used in the food packaging industry. They have a high heat tolerance, which is great if you're growing food because chances are your bag's gonna be out in the sun and yes, I know a lot of folks are concerned about growing food in some of these various plastic containers, and you should be. You should look into it, do some research. Now these bags have a multitude of uses outside of the garden. You can take them to the grocery store, use them for recycling, for loading up blankets and supplies when you head out camping. In fact, I just looked it up on the IKEA website. They're actually showing that these can be used for growing directly on their site as well. But overall, I found plastic to be a pretty hot topic in the gardening world. A lot of us gardeners, we want our gardens to be 100% organic, and that's a wonderful goal, in my opinion, to strive for. When it comes to plastics, if you grow in them, are you still growing organic? Well, the answer to that is absolutely. I mean, think about the small plants that you go and you pick up from the nursery that are organic. They come in a plastic pot. The organic soil that you're purchasing at the big box stores comes in a plastic bag. So yes, you can grow in food safe plastic containers and still be growing organically. And to just help ease any further concerns on the matter, with most of these food grade plastics, if there is any leaching, because there could be a small amount, the chances of any of that material actually making it up through the root system into the stem of the plant, into the leaves or the fruit is very low. If anything, the roots are gonna take up a bit of that. So unless you're growing a plant that's specifically grown for the roots, you should be just fine. But please do your own research, come to your own conclusion and make the best decision for you and your family. This channel is all about finding creative and affordable ways to plant more abundance in your life. And we're gonna continue down that path and I'm gonna share with you all my experiences and my conclusions. This channel is open for discussion, so shoot your comments down below. Tell me what you think. So the cost savings potential using these style bags to grow out some more food is huge. At just a dollar to two dollars a bag, there's nothing else that compares. Even plastic five gallon buckets these days are going for over five dollars, like six, seven dollars at the big box stores. And I love the fact that they come with these handles. Even with a full sack like this with a plant growing in it, I can easily move the bag around, which is nice because if I want to open up an area, let's say, where I've got a bunch of plants growing near the house, I can easily move it out of the way if I've got a gathering or people coming over. Or as the weather's changing throughout the season, I can also rotate my bags to best suit the climate that they're looking to thrive in and really dial in the perfect amount of sun for each particular plant. And for all you folks that don't have much space to grow, maybe you don't have a backyard at all, maybe you just got a balcony, again, you can grow in these type bags. Even a small backyard can over time grow an amazing garden you can do it gradually, just fill a bag up, plant it out, and keep growing in your space until you've got a full little garden. So even if you've got a very small backyard and you just want to grow a few plants, or if you're on a tight budget, this is something that's probably going to work for you. But now I just want to quickly share with you an example of a few of the other eggplants that I have growing in my garden, planted from seed at the same time, transplanted outside into the garden at the same time. Here's one. 
And something else I want to mention, you can see how this plant, which is directly in the ground, has quite a bit of insect damage. I found that when I do grow plants in containers, it's much easier to control some of the pesty insects that can come in and nibble away at your plants. And here's another eggplant. Again, planted at the same time, not even a third of the size as the one growing in my Ikea bag. And you can see here, I've got some eggplants, again, growing in a grow bag in my automatic watering pool system, and they are comparable, looking good as well. And it really is quite easy to dial in the moisture levels when you are growing in containers versus directly in the ground where that water can just continually seep down and away from the roots of your plant. In this system, all the moisture is contained to this one area feeding the roots of the plants growing here. So will I be using more of these bags to grow even more food in my garden? You betcha. I got a couple of these 20 packs ready to go. The Valencia orange tree is popping. We've got loads of ripe fruit here to pick on demand. Valencia is a great juicing orange if you didn't know that already. And over here, well, we've got a Santa Rosa plum tree. Fruit set was sparse this year due to a late freeze, but still some beautiful fruit nonetheless. The white powder that you'll see on plums, grapes, and even blueberries is known as bloom. It actually helps to protect the fruit from dehydration and pests. And it's edible, or you can just wipe it off and buff it out to a high gloss shine. <laughs> Look at the difference. We've got a few that have already hit the ground back here as well. Check out these jujube trees. I really allowed them to get nice and tall this year because the branches, when they get heavy, they begin to droop. So we're going to let these grow up and be part of the overstory here in the food forest. You can see there's lots of flowering going on on both of these trees. One of my favorite fruits in the world, jujube, also known as the Chinese date. They do have thorns though, and they're sharp. So if that's not your thing, you may want to keep looking. We've got this lovely patch of hollyhock right next to the jujube, along with some gladiolas. I got to get out here and harvest all my fava bean pods that we allowed to go maturity this is the Cuscan super yellow extremely rare variety of fava bean and we now have quite the stockpile really fast I just want to send a big thank you to all the viewers out there who've continually watched the content supported the channel through your viewership commenting thumbing up the video even thumbing it down it's all good thank you so much from Alice and I. And if you're new to the channel, I'd like to invite you to hit that subscribe button and join us. New videos every week, sometimes every day. And we're always giving you updates on all the different things growing on around here. So with that, thanks for watching. Have yourself a good one. Until next time, this is Dan from plantabundance.com. Take care. We'll be talking to you again soon.